Uh, recommended consumption. Normally what we recommend is about 20 drops three times a day. Um, this will be what we consider to be a fairly therapeutic dosage. When a person is first starting on aerobic oxygen, you may want to start out at a little bit less dosage, maybe 10 drops three times a day. Move it up a few days for 15 drops and then up to 20 drops. The reason for this is oxygen is extremely detoxifying. One of the properties of oxygen in the body is, is that it takes out toxins that are in the body, things that should not be there. One of its important functions. And if a, a body is extremely toxin, toxic, particularly if they've been on a lot of drugs or antibiotics, uh, our body has a unique way of storing toxins in what's called the lymphatic system. It kind of hides it there, and our bodies don't recognize it. You begin taking oxygen as well as some other supplements, and it draws it out into the body, into the circulatory system, so it can run it through the organs and eliminate it. And some people may go through what's called detoxification symptoms. Maybe a little bit of headache, maybe a little bit of nausea, uh, loose bowels, a few things like that. These are detoxification symptoms and extremely beneficial. I'll give an example of it. We had um, uh, one of our, our customers um, in Canada, and he had emphysema. Uh, and along with emphysema, and I, I very seldom see asthma or emphysema that there isn't a related bronchial infection, a lot of phlegm uh, within the lungs. Um, and he began taking aerobic oxygen. He was also on some other drugs. And he began coughing up large amounts of phlegm. He got a little bit worried and concerned, went back to his doctor, and the doctor put him on cortisone to stop that phlegm from coming up. Um, after a while, he started feeling worse and worse, and he gave me a call and told me the situation. And my first question to him was, you have a lot of infection in your lungs. Is that where you want it to stay? And of course, he said no then why would you want to take something to stop that infection from coming up? So we reduced the amount of oxygen. He began taking over a period of time, started coughing up the phlegm, a little bit more comfortable uh, symptoms this time, and he worked with it for over several weeks, and finally he got that infection cleared up. That's what oxygen will do. It detoxifies and cleanses. Some of the other areas, and you think about the lungs, you think we breathe oxygen in, why would the oxygen that we take through the breathing process not take care of some of the symptoms that are in the lungs? Why are we getting those type of benefits through aerobic oxygen? We're getting them because it's a stable oxygen molecule going through the digestive process. It goes into the blood and comes up into the little villi in the lungs that are heavily covered over with this mucus and the oxygen really can't get at it. And therefore we're able to treat it through the circulatory system. Heart disease angina, these type of conditions, extremely, extremely works well in those type of conditions. Last year when I was here, we talked a little bit, or the question is often asked, um, how old can you be? Um, can young people take it? And I remember a instance, I believe it was in April, that that question was asked. And during the meeting, there were some people that came up and gave some explanation of the benefits that they received. And on the stage came a, about a five or six or seven year old child. Some of you may remember that. And also at the same time, onto the stage came an elderly man. And as he came up, he was being helped by his family. When he got to the stairs to walk up on the podium, he pushed his family away and he walked up on those stairs himself. He had not been able to do that for several years prior to using aerobic oxygen. The young boy that was there also had asthma or emphysema, lung, lung or bronchial infection. He was not able to go out and play with his friends and had not been able to do for many years and had to be very careful of his situation about getting around animals and other things that would, would cause his asthma to flare up. And he was there to tell us that with the use of aerobic oxygen, he was now able to be on that stand and, and let people know that he's out playing around. So we know these tremendous benefits of aerobic oxygen. Um, I had a lady in uh, a, a lecture once, and I started the lecture up, and she came in a little bit late. This was many years ago. 
And she came in and she sat about four or five rows back. She was in a wheelchair. And I watched her all during the lecture and she concerned me. She was very lethargic. Um, color was very bad. Um, I, I, was, I was really concerned about it. it. It upset my lecture a little bit. I was afraid she might die right there. I was <laughs> very concerned about it. After the lecture, I, I started talking to her. And she had had, she had been on medication about 16 or 17 different medications for over 25 years. She had angina problems. She had valves in her heart that weren't working. She had all kinds of serious um, symptoms of, of asthma and emphysema. And everything that came around, she caught. Um, when she came into the room, she was on about 75 to 80 percent codeine, and that's why she looked like that. And she explained what happened. She had had an angina attack, and they had gone in and done uh, angiogram. And they just go in, make a little incision, and go in and check things out. And where that incision was, she developed an infection. And she developed a blood clot right in her groin and cut off all the circulation down to her leg. And of course, that's what was causing all of her pain. They had tried to treat that for several months and could not treat it. She was having real problems with her heart with the two valves not working. But they couldn't operate because they knew they would lose her. She was in that serious a condition. When the last time she had been into a doctor because she had gangrene had set into her foot, they had told her that they would have to amputate her leg. That was the only way that they would be able to save her and, and keep her going. She had heard about aerobic oxygen. Her son brought her to the meeting that night. Long story short, we put her on aerobic oxygen. In about three weeks, she had completely gone off all of her codeine. The clot or the blood clot in her groin, which was the size of about an orange uh, tennis ball size, which was cutting off the circulation to her leg, had began to disappear. After a few months, the clot disappeared, her asthma and emphysema cleared up, both valves in her heart started working, she had gone off all her medications except for two medications. These are some of the some of the benefits that people can receive with the use of aerobic oxygen right from the very far extreme to those people that are just trying to maintain a healthy level, whether it be an athlete or whether it be a just, just a person that is trying to maintain a strong immune system.